This video will be a brief overview of your assignments for the week. One of your assignments is the accreditation assignment, and this is just a pre and post assessment. You're taking the pre assessment now, you'll take the post assessment at the end of 204. You will actually also take the surveys again at the end of your college experience. And it's just to see your progress in understanding technology. There are no questions related to the readings or anything like that. It's just information that you're coming to class with and leaving the class with. So if you go into EdTech competencies, what you'll see is a link uh, in Moodle that below it talks about informed consent. Please reach, read through this if you want to be part of the research participation um, involved with this EdTech competencies, you can do so. Alternatively, you don't have to agree to be part of the research. So please uh, just glance through this. If you have any questions, reach out to Dr. Figley. His email is down here at the bottom. But you do have to go into the EdTech competencies website and complete the information here, either agree to taking part of that research study or just taking part of Coastal Carolina University data, which is part of that accreditation process. After you click start survey, you'll just have questions related to um, different topics and just a survey from least to most. Once you're completed with that, please make sure you take a screenshot of your final screen that says that you are done with that and it's just your completion evidence. That's part of what you're gonna submit for this assignment. The second assignment, part of the accreditation is to complete a technology skills inventory in Microsoft Forms. This is just a multiple choice uh, assessment. There are point values here, but it is just a matter of you completing it and that will get you full credit. So answer each one of these questions, the best of your knowledge, hit submit, and when you finish, it'll give you a completion um, image. Take a screenshot of that and that's part of what you're gonna submit as well. In the completion evidence, you will submit those two screenshots within here and that will give you full credit for that assignment. The second assignment due this week is Unit one mastery. You'll see here that similar to module 308 on the screen capture assignment in week two, there will be a new list of new assignments of tech tools involved in this project. So go through here and look for your name. It's gonna be organized by cohort across the bottom and by name on each one of these columns. Find your name and which tech tool that you are going to research and present about. Within the Unit Mastery Resources page on our class website, you'll find a lot of beneficial information about this, exactly what's supposed to go in the screen capture, the three to five minute screen capture. There are two parts. One is to have an overview of going through slides about it. Of course, all of this is screen captured. So going through the slides, explaining information about the tech tool. The second part is to actually go through a, the tech tool itself and give a tutorial or demonstration of how to use it. The final submission will be a YouTube video. There's lots of information on this page that'll help you, such as the rubric, an overview of the project, a uh, few slides in PowerPoint, as well as the tutorial, and th this is also an example, and a student example. So please use those resources to help you complete this Unit 1 Mastery Project, and reach out to your instructor if you have any questions.